Hello friends, just sitting outside while the kids play. Um, I wanted to talk to you about a strategy that I recently started to use to help with worry because I am a chronic worrier. I have been for most of my life. It's like something I'm really working on. Um, and if you're not like a yoga meditator, I actually find this to be like even more helpful. It's called Killing the Ants. So I'm gonna include a picture of two books that I read. They both have versions of this. Um, Dr. Daniel Amen, his book, Change Your Brain, Change Your Life, is the one that actually calls it Killing the Ants. I just like that. It's easy to remember. So you're killing the automatic negative thoughts. So our brains weigh about three pounds, but use up 20% of our energy. So it's a huge energy suck. And in order to make sure that we have enough energy for our physical bodies to work, it starts to work on being more efficient. And the way it becomes more efficient is it automates our, the things we think and do the most. So when you're in a prolonged period of worry, like if that's your, the thing you think the most, like it's going to start automating that. So like I'm visual. So the way I think about it is it's like putting on red tinted glasses and then it's like it sneaks up on you. Like after so long, you don't even realize that you're filtering all your thoughts through that lens of worry. And it's like, you just don't even realize it's happening. So this is a strategy you should use now. Uh, I use it just to help prevent yourself from letting that take over your life, even when this is all said and done, because it will come to an end. So I'm going to, I can't flip the video around, so I'm gonna stop the video and I'll edit them together to show you what that process looks like. It's a really super simple. Dr. Amon's book on audiobook, so I'll show you with the other book I have. Um, I, I have a lot of spots I have marked in here. So worry really is about a condition thinking about the future. I think Jay Shetty describes it really good where it's like your body's in the present, but your brain and thoughts are in the future. So you can, um, uh, in this book, they label it as co cognitive distortions. And there's a bunch. So some of them are all or nothing thinking, overgeneralizing. Um, I, I know one I'm really guilty of is just jumping to conclusions and should statements. So you're gonna wanna get familiar with cognitive distortions and what they are. And then you're going to, so I do it in my journal, create three columns. And one is the automatic thought. So what is the thought you're having? Write it down. There is something about the head, heart, hand connection. Like you have to do this. You have to write it for it to be effective. Just thinking it or saying it out loud will not produce the same effectiveness. I don't know the science behind the writing thing. You can look it up. The next col column is where you're gonna actually label the distortion. And then the third column is the rational response. And this is what I love about this process. The rational response is not fake positive outcome. It's just reality. When you're in your own head, sometimes you can go down the rabbit hole of disaster, right? They say like the worst part of fear is fearing the thing versus actually going through the hard thing. Um, so your answering here isn't necessarily going to be wonderful or what you want, but it's really going to help you work and move through the worry. And I feel like for me, by getting it down on paper and really looking at it, it helps me then to just move on out of that thought and start thinking about like, what's the next step? So for example, in here they have, I never do anything right. It's an overgeneralization and nonsense. I do a lot of things right. I will write down on here. For me, I'll say sometimes I don't do things right because that's the truth, but I learn from my mistakes and there are still a lot of things I do right. I do use it in my actual journal where I put my gratitude and goals. It's just a really good process and habit to get into now. So just it's like preventative measures from letting the worry consume you through the.